Hello YouTube, what's up? Yeah, sorry I haven't posted any uh, videos lately. Um, I've just been really busy, uh, just working hard, uh, a lot more hours at work. Um, just a lot that's been, been going on. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> so I'm probably going to make two parts of this video because uh, I want to catch up with you guys and let you know how it's going. Uh, well, uh, it's been... It's been about two months. I lost track. I start counting after like day 20, day 22. Uh, like uh, some of you all been following my channel. I did have a little bit of a slip up uh, a few times, two, two, three times, about a month ago. Um, so it's been like about about almost four weeks. About four weeks since I uh, tried some boxing. Uh, I don't know what possessed me to do it, but you know, after uh, taking it for almost eight years, seven years. And then, you know, four years besides that, I, my brain didn't know how to deal with emotions and uh, energy, anxiety, and, you know, I guess the pause uh, hit me uh, about like three, two, three weeks after. Uh, so it's just all mental. Um, it's crazy because I was expecting my withdrawal to be more uh, physical. And it was, it was physical probably for like three days because of pie, because I was in such a low dose and I've been just uh, working hard. To get where I am now, uh, I knew I was gonna have to face my mind, uh, face my fears, face my insecurities, uh, face my depression, uh, and everything uh, got a little overwhelming. And then I hurt my foot, so of course that was a big excuse for me to be in pain. And and yeah, the last time I took it, you know, it didn't even do anything for me. Actually, it made me feel gross and made me tired and gave me a headache. So I know that's what was causing my headaches was the Suboxone because I haven't had a headache ever since I quit. And my energy is way better. Uh, it's not 100% yet. Like I said, it's about, officially it's been about 28 days or 29 days since the little slip up that I took of a 0.25 milligrams. But I freaking love my Kratom. Uh, it's, without it, I wouldn't be uh, where I am now. It's helped me so much get back my life. Um, you know, I do take it daily. Um, sometimes there's one day or two days in the week that uh, you know I got. I want to just chill and I just stay home. It's my day off, and sometimes I don't even think about taking it. And I start doing that um, last week, like skip a day, skip two days, you know, during the week. And yeah, I, I get tired. I don't feel as pumped or as uh, motivated, and I get a little antsy and I get a little like low energy. But it's tolerable. It's nothing compared to like, you know, Suboxone. If I didn't have my Suboxone, you know, when I was taking it daily, oh fuck, man, you know, I was miserable. I was, I was moody. I was just laying in bed and just like start feeling restless, extremely restless, and couldn't sleep. So, Kratom is nothing, nothing compared to sub Suboxone. It just blows my mind how, uh, how small of a dose I was taking, and still it was pretty powerful shit so yeah the last dose I took was 0.25 and like I said it was like about a month ago and it didn't really settle with me so yeah I've been just trying different uh, brands of a uh, Kratom um, I finally ordered from Wild Force uh, Super Green which is right here I finally got I finally ordered it because I've been uh, ordering I've been buying it sorry from the stores uh, local stores around here there's like a one store because my doctor's in St. Pete. Sometimes I can't go all the way there, my acupuncture doctor, to get the the kratom, the kratom. And you know, it's like a, sometimes it can be like an hour away in traffic. So I only see him like once a week now because of my work schedule. So when I see him, you know, I'll get like a little bag of of the green uh, mangda. But uh, I think my body started like getting a tolerance to certain brand strains, so I have to switch it up. I just noticed that too. Um, I was my time was going up as of like I was doing two three grams a day and then you know if I do it every day after like a week I'm gonna need six seven grams and so I don't want to do that so what I do is I just take a break and not do it for a whole day or if I do do it I switch it to another strain like a white strain the red one I don't like it anymore it's too sedating and it just doesn't do anything for me um, Lately, I just I just want my energy back. That's all I'm struggling with. So I was using the white Mangda and the green Mangda, like I said, from my doctor and the local store around here. 
but they're freaking expensive. It was just like a little bottle of like 15 grams, no, 30 grams, a little bottle of 30 grams for like 16 bucks. You know, that shit won't last me like a week, not even. Um, so I finally got online and uh, did some reviews and uh, a few guys that are on my channel, um, a couple of you guys um, did some reviews on the Life Force. So that's why I ordered it. Uh, and they're pretty cool people, man. Uh, you get like, I, I threw a box of it, but you get like a little letter that says thank you. Um, they also threw in this free green mangda, just, you know, and this glow stick looking shit. <laughs> but it's, I guess it's a honey stick or something, I don't know. I'm gonna put it in my kratom, so um, so it doesn't taste like ass because the shit tastes nasty. Um, I've got every two days I make a pitcher, you know, water and just leave it in my fridge, you know, and then I just take little cups, you know, like twice a day. Now I, it's the first today's the first day I um trying the super green, so I want to see how it goes. I'm looking for uh for it to last longer. Because the other ones I was taking, I would take it around like 10 in the morning. Because I still wake up feeling a little restless. That feeling still hasn't gone away and it's really freaking annoying. Like, I, I sleep fine. I sleep good. Like, I may wake up a couple of times during the, the night, but I go back right back to sleep. Um, I take melatonin for nighttime. And a few, couple other um, supplements too that I've been uh, playing with and switching around. See what suits me better. But, um, yeah, definitely at nighttime, I take melatonin every day, but I also, um, I don't mean to get off subject here, but I also um, just want to let you guys know what I take for sleep. I take, uh, potassium, calcium, magnesium. These are all trace minerals. And this one's Angstrom, Mother Earth. I get them all from Amazon. So what I do... I take it like a, like a shot, like if it was a shot of vodka or, or something. Um, I just put it like in a little shot glass and I'll put like a teaspoon of each. Yeah, they're a little bitter, but that's what I've been doing to see what uh, if it helps me because I, like I said, I still wake up feeling real restless, like my arms, my legs. I just I just don't wake up feeling like comfortable, you know. I wake up feeling like really tight. I don't know if any of you guys are experiencing that, but uh, that's my only symptom. But once I start moving, once I get up and I'll start doing my crunches and, you know, I might go for a run now and my foot's feeling better. I'm starting to jog again. So finally that pain is gone. Uh, it's completely healed, I think. I mean, it still hurts. I, I signed up for uh, kickboxing classes again. But I can't really use the my, that foot that much, so I got to watch out and not fucking hurt it even more. Well, that's helping me a lot too, like burn some anxiety and like get in shape because... One thing that depressed me is <laughs> I um, did my detox uh, about a month ago. As you all know, you know, like I had the hurricane come and then I went to my aunts and then, you know, I had family and I was dealing with a lot of stress and the doctor gave me comfort meds. And, you know, I was just really feeling really tired and run down. So I would just lay down a lot, not do much exercise, you know, the first couple of weeks. And I was just eating like a fucking pig. So I gained some weight. Uh, I was 145 before two months ago, and then as I start tapering, I don't know why, but I start gaining. So I gained like 18 pounds. So and now, now, now I don't know what to do. So um, I've just been watching my diet and you know supplementing and just hitting the gym more, um, cutting carbs, cutting sugar, especially alcohol, because I think a lot was that. Uh, no, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I had a problem with it in college and in high school, you know, but I don't really like the way it makes me feel. It's more of a social thing. And that has something to do with it, too, because as soon as I got off the, the subs, uh, I just felt like, well, you know, after the week or two, you know, of, of the uncomfortable feeling and the, and the energy, my energy got a little better. I was hanging out with my friends every day because I was on vacation, my job closed. So every night I would just get extremely bit bored, or even during the day, you know. Oh, let's go to the beach, let's go to a bar, let's go eat. So I was out. I've been out and about. I've been more social, which is good, because when I was in Suboxone, all I would do is, my life was fucking boring, man. <laughs> like, I would just get up, mope around the house, eat, maybe hit the gym, take my sub, 
go to work, come home, watch TV, go to sleep, and that was my fucking life. Like, I had friends all this time, and there was times when I would just come home so fucking tired that you know, I wouldn't even come home so late sometimes from work was slow, and it was like 10 o'clock at, at night, and I would come home, my friends are out at 11 or 12, it's, you know, it's some, some place, some restaurant, you know, a club or a bar or whatever, you know, sometimes at a house, sometimes we just like chill, watch movies, you know, and just just hang out, you know, maybe smoke a little pot, you know, have a glass of wine, order pizza. I, I didn't want to do that. I feel I was so antisocial. And now it's like I want to hang out with everybody every day. I mean, I do have my days. I don't want to see anybody. So I just lay low. I stay at home and I'll put a movie on, I'll, you know, play some video games, uh, read a book or do my research. But that's about it. Um, so I'm feeling a lot better. I'm trying to compare and I'm trying to put that in my brain. Like, how much different I am. I mean, sometimes I don't notice it because, you know, that's just how it is. But my family notices, they know what's going on, which is great that they're really, really supportive and they're proud of me. And just seeing my parents, my mom especially, seeing her happy that I'm doing better makes me happy. Because, you know, like I told you guys, like I, I've done some bad shit, some shady shit, you know, I, I've stolen from them, I've lied to them. They, they see me in my worst, in my rock bottom. They still give me a chance. They still give me a roof over my head, you know, to stay here until I, you know, get better. And, you know, and I have nothing against the boxing. I really think it got my life back, you know. Before that, I was so lost. I was on methadone. I was on doing heroin. I was doing all, all sorts of shit. Um, after my divorce, especially, I, got, I went on a deep depression. And, you know, I don't even want to think about what I used to do because it's embarrassing. So now seeing them happy and me helping them out, you know, with the bills and catching up and that just makes me happy. So, and then they seem to change in me too. My mom's like, you feel you look better, you feel more social, your energy seems better, you you talk better, you you, you look more clear, your, your mind is clear, and physically you look better. I'm like, well, you know, even though I I did gain some weight, but um, you know, I know I'll lose it. Uh, but yeah, I just been I just been uh, just focus on myself uh, a lot, and that's what I'm learning to do right now. I'm at the coping skills kind of like what do you call that? Yeah, I'm at that part where like I have to learn how to cope with my emotions. You know, when I feel sad, and that's part of life. You know, you feel sad, you feel depressed, you're anxious, you you obsess over something, you can't stop thinking about it, or you get social anxiety. You know, that's just life. It's just it's new to me because I was dormant, I was numb for so many years that sometimes I don't know how to react and I get overwhelmed. But I'm learning, you know. Um, I have a cool new group of friends, I've been going to meetings, uh, I've just been going on, I do online meetings too. Uh, yeah, I'm still seeing my uh, counselor. Um, I did, like I said, I did stop the comfort meds um, from uh, the doctor was giving me because they were just making me feel like a zombie. He gave me gabapentin uh, two, three times a day, visceral for nighttime and anxiety, and trazodone for nighttime, and bentil for the stomach cramps and stuff. And like you know, like I told him too, I'm, he was like, "Oh, you're not taking them no more? Why?" I'm like, "Because I don't need them. Because I can't go to work and feeling like a zombie and forgetting shit or dropping shit. Like the gabapentin is making me feel like I was like made out of jello, and that's probably one of the main reasons I." fucking messed up my foot because I was going up the ladder and I felt like like Gumby or something like I didn't like the way it made me feel I wasn't focused and I wasn't like coordinated I was dizzy and they made me freaking just eat and eat and just lay down and I just didn't like that feeling I'm a really active person and I'm into sports and I'm I like to move around a lot and I, I get bored very freaking easily so it's a good thing I'm back at work so it's a good thing that you know my energy's a little better and like I said Kratom has helped me so freaking much um, I know it's not gonna be a problem for me I mean am I a lot of people ask me are you addicted to it I'm like well you know what I wouldn't call it an addiction but it is helping me it's just like you know people drink coffee in the morning uh, some people smoke pot at night to go to sleep it, you know I don't see it as an addiction um, but it's definitely helping me so I have nothing against Kratom uh, besides, I'm taking it uh, under uh, supervision, under a professional. 
I know it's like not human consumption is not legal or illegal it's kind of like out there and there's people that have bad things to say about it and but I you know it's just to me it's a great plant it's helped me so much to get where I am now and if I have to stay on it for a few months if I have to stay on it for a year then whatever you know I'll deal with it when I decide because I get tired of shit really easily so I know it's gonna be a, just like I got tired of boxing you know I I got on it uh, and got my life back you know it, it made me think and grow spiritually mentally and you know made me learn more about myself and my emotions so you know same things can happen with this and suboxone withdrawals are freaking hell you know when I try to jump from like two three milligrams and I don't know how I got stuck on two milligrams for like two years and I couldn't get below it seems like everybody has that problem because I guess the amount of receptors in your brain has something to do with the amount but two milligrams and below it's a freaking battle it's a mission um, the only way I was able to do it was about eight months ago I took like a weekend off of work I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video but um I was stuck at two milligrams to 1.5 2 milligrams 1.5 and I couldn't get below I wanted to get to one milligram so bad so what I did is I stopped for like three two days like I heard I didn't sleep I, I remember I didn't go to work Friday Saturday, and Sunday and I went back to work on Monday so I took like two three days off of work so I I didn't take I took my last dose this is six months ago by the way or eight months ago something like that I took my last dose Friday it was like two milligrams and I didn't take any Saturday I didn't take any Sunday then Monday I was feeling like shit and that's when I got back on like one milligram and that's that was the only way I was able to stay on there and my body was actually you know appreciative about it and then I, below that you know that's where I started like supplementing and eating better and trying to have more positive mindset and exercising and, you know and that now I'm at zero so uh, you know, I'm really thankful for that I'm thank, thankful for Kratom um, here's a couple other things I'm still supplementing by the way like I said I just show you the the nighttime supplements magnesium calcium potassium uh, take melatonin not every night because I notice sometimes it doesn't work if you take just like energy. you can't take something every day because your body gets sick of it and then you're just gonna want more you're just not gonna work so I take that like you know I skip a day you know sometimes I come home from work so freaking tired that I just pass out I don't take anything I don't even eat smoke or anything uh, this is another one I'm still taking Macuna it's from um, Bean, Bean Velvet I got this on Amazon I still take this I still take my adrenal support for my adrenals since I was uh, diagnosed with adrenal fatigue from my functional uh, doctor I take immune complex this stuff is amazing I have a lot of my friends taking this stuff because um I haven't got sick I haven't taken a flu shot you know I know a lot of you like take flu shot that's fine but uh my whole family takes this. I haven't gotten sick in years. I don't want to jinx myself here because there's so many people around me that are sick. Like this past week, I was at work. My boss was sick. Everybody was sick. Friends were sick, and and I'm fine. So, knock on wood. Thank God. This is an, uh, another one. It's fish oil. This is probably one of my favorite supplements. Uh, I take it three times a day, sometimes four times a day. I think it does help a lot with my anxiety, uh, with the brain, because it's got uh, fatty acids in it. And then, of course, I'm taking my Alpha Brain. This is for focus, memory. You get this Amazon for 30 bucks. Uh, I don't. I think I've done a review of this. This stuff is great. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, it's, it's like neurotro nootropics, what they call it. Uh, it's got a load of B vitamins. It's got uh, cat claw. It's got L-tyrosine, which is good for dopamine. It's got B vitamin 6, vitamin 12. It's also got fatty acids. It's got um, Bacopa. Uh, GPC, which is l alpha glycerophosphocholine I don't know if I'm saying it right. l things, whatever. But anyways, you guys are welcome to look it up. Stuff's amazing. Uh, so these are all the only supplements that I'm taking right now. Uh, I was taking DLPA and 5-HTP uh, and Com Support. I ran out, but uh, it did help me. Com Support was great, amazing stuff. Um, I started taking it right after I stopped my comfort meds and I felt like that substituted for the comfort meds and it was amazing. It kept me calm, it helped my anxiety a little bit, get you know to where it needs to be, helped me sleep, you know, it gave me an appetite, 
Um, but it's not cheap, you know, it's like 60 bucks, so. Might order again, I don't know. I'm just trying, like I said, I'm just trying to catch on some bills. So yeah, that's what's been going on, guys. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, like I said, sorry if I've been MIA, but a lot's been going on with work. Uh, also, uh, also I had a, a ex that is not bothering me. She wants to get back in my life. And like I said, she's too toxic for me. So I'm the asshole now. She's mad at me because, you know, I won't talk to her. I mean, I'll talk to her, but she wants more than that. And right now I'm just trying to focus on myself. You know, everywhere I go, I meet somebody. Like, even at the meetings, I was, like, there for, like, the first week. And I met, like... You know, two girls, that were, one girl, sorry, one that was trying to talk to me, and she was like, needed a place to stay, and she's like, I don't know where to go, my husband cheated on me, and you know me, I'm out there to help, if you need help, I'll drop whatever you need, I need what I'm doing, you know, especially if you're struggling with addiction, because I know how that is, and if I see somebody that needs help, I'm willing to help, but I have to be cautious, because that's how I've been taking advantage in the past, you know, I've had people... Oh, and they help me, and then, you know, they'll stay in my house, I'll give them a room, or a couch, and then the next day, you know, my watch's missing, money's missing, or something's missing, plus I live with my parents here, you know, I, I just, I can't do that right now. So I let her stay the night, and, you know, she started, she's, weird smell, I'm like, what the hell is that, because I have a garage on the other side of my room, it's where I give her places. She was fucking smoking crack <laughs> in the fuck in, in the next room, in the guest room. I was like, you need to get the hell out of here. So I called her her Uber, you know, and she was far gone. And now now I don't know where she's at, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's, that's just what happens, you know. It's just how it is, you know. I try to help somebody out, and then they ended up turning, you know, something. And I regret, but whatever, you know. That's just how I am. I can't help um, not saying no if somebody really does need help, so. So anyways guys, uh, video is about to end.